हेलो गाइस बच्चों वेलकम टू माय चैनल स्टडी अब टुडे आई विल डिस्कस अबाउट द क्लास इलेवन चैप्टर सिक्स व्हाट टेल मी व्हाट्स योर व्हाट्स योर बोलो 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 यस ऑल ऑफ द स्टूडेंट्स रिक्वेस्टिंग मी सर स्टार्ट करिए स्टार्ट कीजिए स्टार्ट कीजिए तो योर ओवर अवेटिंग चैप्टर्स thermodynamics okay so let's start so before thermodynamics starting the thermodynamics let's start a few lines ah before thermodynamics say in chemistry this is the chemical thermodynamics and you also learned in class uh, 11 also class uh, chapter physics mein usme bhi thermodynamics hai and isme bhi hai the object aim both of the in physics and chemistry are the same but the style of representation the paths are different so what do we know in case of chemistry every reaction That that is chemical reactions. Chemical reactions take place. All of you know, A plus B, C plus D, and chemical reactions undergoes in the presence of some heat, temperature, pressure, etc., etc. So chemical reactions involves what? Either gain or loss of energy. Loss or gain energy. Why? Because this energy requires to break or to make. That is breaking and making the bonds. or rearrangements of the atom clear so here the energy released in the form of energy which can be converted from one form to another form under suitable conditions here the energy released and in under suitable conditions the branch of science where but the branch of science that deals with the deals with what different forms of energy and their quantitative interrelationship known as thermodynamics okay the branch of science dealing with different forms of energy and their quantitative interrelationship is known as thermodynamics and this thermodynamics is mainly based on four generalizations called zeroth law first law second law and third law okay all and which is purely based on human experiences and have no theoretical proof just imaginations based on and human experiences it has no theoretical experiences it is important science because it helps in prediction the extent of chemical reactions to be in equilibrium state it is also helpful in the in the prediction of the feasibility of the reaction that is whether the reaction is possible or not okay besides it also fails to explain the speed of the reactions the path of the reactions and the macronot microscopic systems it discuss i will discuss later it will discuss about the macroscopic sense that in the large sense okay so let's start the thermodynamics means what do thermodynamics means thermo means heat and dynamic means motion so change it is heat change it motion so before th going to again the thermodynamics we shall have to discuss some basics of thermodynamics some basics of thermodynamics what are the basics some part that is the system 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 you have to know what is systems what is surroundings what is surroundings what is boundary 
that is the inverse boundary and the classification of the boundary systems so many things are there so in this sense the basics of thermodynamics so what is system what is surroundings what is boundary you have to learn system kya hai suppose in chemistry in the lab tree what we discussed what is under investigation suppose we are in the lab tree or anything in our practical cases also suppose you are investigation this is a beaker there is some gases or water any things we are experimenting some things in the beaker that is we are observing what will happen after reaction or before reaction what is exist so this is known as the system that is system is that part which is under observation which is under investigation okay which is under observation or investigation and without system beside the systems any other part besides this all other parts are known as surroundings surrounding these are the surroundings and these are the systems that is this part which i which is under investigation which is under experimented this part only is known as the system okay of the th this is a thermodynamic system and without system the remaining part of the universe are called surroundings that is systems plus surroundings equals to universe universe in this universe systems plus surroundings equals to universe clear and within the universe whatever we are going to experiment we are going to observe something in a particular area that is known as the system and what is boundary that is in a boundary is that thing that is system and surrounding system and surrounding boundary is the wall or line or it is a surface that separates the sound surroundings and system system jo system hai ye jo system this is a system which is under investigation this is the surroundings ये सिस्टम्स एंड सराउंडिंग सिस्टम एंड सराउंडिंग के बीच में जो वॉल है जो लाइन है जो सरफेस है ये है इंटरफेस ये है सरफेस ये सपोज वाटर है ये एयर है एयर एंड वाटर के बीच में जो सरफेस है इंटरफेस है दैट इज द लाइन और बाउंड्री दैट सेपरेट द सराउंडिंग्स एंड सिस्टम दैट सेपरेट द सराउंडिंग एंड सिस्टम दिस इज अ वीकर विद इन दिस कंटेनर this container within the container there is water or there is something okay this is the system and this glass separated it to come out before with the surroundings so this is known as boundary this is known as boundary you see here it is boundary this is boundary this is a boundary this is also boundary okay so what are what are got got out here systems surroundings boundary systems under investigations the part which is under investigation this is we are discussing we are in the wall we are discussing something in a particular area that system that is a system and besides our discussions all other things in the universe are surroundings clear and the surroundings and systems beech mein jo wall hai beech mein jo line hai beech mein jo surface hai wohi hai boundary okay the systems boundary 
ইউনিভার্স সিস্টেমস বাউন্ডারি সারাউন্ডিংস সিস্টেমস বাউন্ডারি সারাউন্ডিংস সিস্টেম যে হ্যাঁ সাউন্ডারি সারাউন্ডিংস যে হ্যাঁ মিলাকে ইউনিভার্স ওকে দিস ইস নাও আই উইল ডিসকাস অ্যাবাউট ডিফারেন্ট টাইপস অফ সিস্টেমস বাউন্ডারি ওকে নাও ইজ দ্য ডাস্টার কাহ গিয়া रुको जरा सबर करो बोला धक्का बुक्की नहीं करने का आराम से लेने का हाँ डस्टर मिल गया ओके सो व्हाट इज सी बाउंडरी दैट इज द दिस इज द रियल आई एम कमिंग रियल एंड इमेजनरी दैट इज द रियल वॉल दैट इज द इमेजनरी वॉल सो द रियल एंड इमेजनरी वॉल और दैट इज दैट सेपरेट द साउंडरी सराउंडिंग्स एंड सिस्टम इज नोन एज बाउंड्री ओके सो आउट हेयर boundary can be this boundary can be what this boundary this boundary can be real can be real can be imaginary this is the real boundary this call this is real boundary this is imaginary boundary this is the interface in between this but this is the real boundary so real imaginary or rigid rigid boundary hai for flexible boundary five permeable non permeable non permeable rigid non rigid rigid non rigid that is flexible permeable non permeable the what is real that is the real boundary that separates surrounding and systems okay permeable means a permeable that is a entry in bengali me ki pravesh korte pare praveshiwa that is matter can pass that is matter can pass through this boundary okay and non permeable that is matter cannot pass here matter can pass matter can pass ekhane okay? matter don't pass non permeable okay rigid flexible ho sakta hai that is zero beside this there are also diathermal this is also diathermal dia tar mal that's a diathermal maybe diathermal maybe adiabatic idna sara boundary ho sakta hai what is diathermal diathermal means where heat can flow heat, here matter can pass permeable here diathermal means heat can pass heat isme heat can jo hota hai isme heat can pass in and out in and transfers movement of heat can pass through this boundary that is parasima okay so it can in and out matter can in and out is me matter bahar aa sakta hai okay that is the permeable the, the non permeable cannot pass and what is adiabatic what do adiabatic means it cannot pass or flow adiabatic system adiabatic boundary it cannot pass this it cannot in or out cross clear so this is the different types of boundary about system and different types of systems okay systems okay so discuss about system so depending upon depending upon the movement of the movement of energy or matter movement of energy or matter that is in and out within the system this within the systems from the sound within, to the bound surroundings or from the surroundings in or out kya hoga matter or energy the system can be three types mainly open systems closed systems isolated systems what is open systems what is closed systems what is isolated systems say open system kya hai suppose you are experimenting a beaker in, in open beaker suppose this is a system which is under observation this is 
this is what is this boundary and this is the surroundings so we are experimenting something within the beaker in open beaker this is in case of experimenting if we supply heat out here reaction is taking place but that there is some water in the beaker if it's just that is here is water this is water out there okay okay so if it is heat is being given what will happen it will evaporate heat will be exchanged matter will be exchanged in, in form of vapor it will be out from this out here okay and in some cases the heat will exchange from this one okay this non insulated that is heat and matter can pass heat can pass matter also can pass that is delta m not that is change of mass delta m change of energy delta e is not equal to zero it is not equal to zero in case of closed system so what is open system that is in the system in which matter that is the mass or energy both can exchange and the boundary are not sealed generally it is imaginary this is imaginary boundary and this is the real boundary that is the with the what i see this is in the, this beaker this is imaginary boundary and this is a real boundary this is imaginary boundary within the surface of the water and the air this is the interface from this interface the from this interface there is no closed surface out there there is open so from this matter can be escape out heat also escape out from this also this this also so in this case there matter and energy can pass freely so this is known as open system okay that is the experiment in a open beaker or living systems also okay and in case of closed system if we close the beaker this closed so this water can be out no cannot so matter cannot come out it will heat this it it will evaporate but after this out here it will come back to the inside the beaker so matter cannot escape out so matter cannot escape out so matter cannot in, in this case matter cannot escape out but heat can be pass through this wall that is through this boundary so here exchange of energy exchange of energy only take place okay exchange of energy but what matter does not exchange that is delta m matter cannot delta m equals to zero delta e not equals to zero that energy exchange by work in the form of work okay and boundary here boundary sealed but not insulated boundary sealed but not insulated that is the this is diathermic you can sell it tell it no no mass is exchanged but heat only heat is exchanged through this boundary that is sealed boundary sealed but not insulated clear it is the closed system the closed system mein kya hoga m delta m zero hoga or delta e not equals to zero matter cannot be exchange in or out and that is in closed system heat can pass in or out heat can in or out but matter cannot mass cannot that is it is known as closed system what is isolated system isolated system kya hai suppose you have so, 
means thermoflux. Okay, and that ideally it will not. The in this case, in case of thermos flux, isolated means what? No exchange of mass, no exchange of heat. That is, mass cannot exchange, and heat cannot exchange. Heat cannot in or out, and mass obviously not. So in this case, energy here cannot in or cannot out. That is, no exchange of mass and energy. That is, delta m equals to zero. Delta E equals to zero. So it is the example of thermos flux. That is not an ideal example of thermos flux. So it is the it is not ideally, but it's a both. Um, so it is highly costed, high costing thermos flux. Long time it will keep the warm water warm. Okay. So in that case, we'll consider out this thermos flux as an isolated system. In the isolated system, the no heat or no matter or mass can flow, can in or can out, in the isolated system. Okay. So next. So next. Suppose, and this is this is a branded cell company. Okay. This is the system. Okay. So it cannot heat cannot be escape out. Matter cannot be escape out. Both heat and matter cannot escape out. So this is the thermos flux. Actually, actually, no, not after some days, after some long period of times, it will heat also loss. But ideally, not. But we here we consider the thermos flux. Okay. So see next. So here, see we see the thermodynamics law depends upon the. Mas macroscopic substance in a, where a large number of molecules involved. Thermodynamic laws depends upon the macroscopic substance. It involves the large where large number of molecules involved out there. Okay, so in their microscopic systems, there are certain parameters. The some parameters of this macroscopic systems. Or maybe the properties of the macroscopic systems, which is of two types, and extensive properties, another is intensive properties. The macroscopic properties regarding the various parameters, various variables are there, such as mass, volume, enthalpy moles, number of moles, pressure, temperature, viscosity, uh, density, refractive index, uh, uh, molar concentration, molar volume, so many things are said that they are. So all these parameters undergoes the macroscopic properties. And this macroscopic property classify in, on, in two main distinct to different properties that is the extensive properties or additive properties and intensive properties or non additive properties yes so what is extensive property it depends upon it depends upon the mass okay it depends upon the mass that is the amount of matter amount it depends amount of matter Depends amount of matter or size, amount of matter or size of the system or the sample. And it does not depend upon the amount of matter or size of the system. Size of system. And it does not depend. Does not depend upon the amount of matter depend upon the on amount of matter or the size of sample size of system or sample size of system sort me the amount of matter or size of system doesn't depend that is and it depends that is additive, 
you have to add a non additive non additive means intensive additive means extensive okay amounts of matter it depends so what are the example where amounts of matter depends that is the example mass is me mass hoga i am coming example mass volume bhi hoga extensive property okay number of moles bahut sara hai number of moles okay number of moles bhi ho sakega okay enthalpy and i will discuss all these things later step by step enthalpy okay isme entropy gives free energy okay heat capacity all these are the extensive property and in case of intensive property there is the temperature okay temperature bhi ho sakta hai pressure temperature pressure viscosity refractive index refractive index ph ph molar volume okay all of all molars all molars molar concentration molality molarity eh yeah. all regarding molars okay molar entropy molar enthalpy mane molar mein molar hai to intensive hai ha yeah. boiling point melting point ph ha yeah. all these things molar volume all are under the intensive property okay intensive property kyun temperature kya hai hum bas bata rahe intensive property intensive property temperature pressure okay or a intensive property one thing you must remember the ratio of extensive and ex ratio of extensive and extensive will be always intensive property intensive property very important ratio of extensive and intensive extensive and extensive ratio of two extensive property will gives intensive property as for example as for example suppose density density kya hai mass by volume so what is mass what is volume it is extensive it is extensive so extensive by extensive and what is the density intensive density intensive property so this is intensive mass what is mass extensive volume extensive so ratio of two extensive that is the density intensive okay refractive index you can also write in this way refractive index this is a intensive property okay next molar concentration number of moles by volume so number of moles what this is a extensive property volume is a extensive property so it is what is this molar concentration concentration is the intensive property okay clear so also electromotive force electromotive force electromotive force what is this it is the electromotive force what intensive property how that is that is w by l it is extensive it is extensive so it is intensive as a okay next suppose a additive additive and non additive in the sense of this you have to check whether it is extensive or intensive suppose a hai room hai a room ka jo temperature or pressure volume whatever you can consider pressure volume temperature okay pressure volume temperature you can check 
suppose temperature of the room uh, 40 degree at some 30 degree okay temperature total temperature if I give a wall in the middle of the room the temperature will be 15 or 15 yes or no no temperature will be remain same this will be 30 this will be 30 so it cannot be additive this is non-additive okay temperature the non-additive temperature that is what property intensive property also volume also pressure also okay volume also out additive you can add the volume half volume okay it can be addition in but temperature cannot be additive that is non-additive it is intensive property okay so today i here i draw my ends next chapter next day the most important chapter this is the basics of the thermodynamics and all will be helpful uh, for you the next discussions and next part which is very important what i discussed today the different systems different boundaries uh, what is boundary surrounding system different types of system different types of boundaries uh, then intensive property extensive property all these things and remember it and uh, go through this and if you problem go through my video again and again okay so please subscribe it and share it to your friends so thank you goodbye